टुडे इन माय चैनल आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू अबाउट दी टाइप्स ऑफ बिग डेटा दी अर्लियर वीडियो वाज अबाउट दी थ्री बीस ऑफ बिग डेटा दैट दी वेलोसिटी वॉल्यूम एंड वैरायटी सो टुडे इन दिस वीडियो विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट दी फोर मेन टाइप्स ऑफ बिग डेटा सो देर आर फोर मेन फैसेट्स ऑफ बिग डेटा इनफैक्ट दैट इज दी सेमी स्ट्रक्चर्ड डेटा दी स्ट्रक्चर्ड डेटा दी अनस्ट्रक्चर्ड डेटा एंड दी मल्टी स्ट्रक्चर्ड डेटा सो लेट एस सी देम वन बाय वन what are this so first in semi structured data we have the log files so log files are basically used uh, while you are accessing your gmail account or the yahoo account so uh, basically a log file dot log will be generated so as you can uh, maintain the session between this uh, while browsing this of your mails so that's the log files so basically it is of the semi structured data means like it contains the image as well as it contains some text next is the xml data that is the extensible markup language so this language is mainly used for containing the tags in the data like when you are communicating over the web services like the soap or rest service you have this xml data in its uh, header content as well as the footer content so these are basically the tags which will be used to identify the data more easily next is the rdf data that is the resource description framework now what is this rdf rdf data mainly consists of uh, the information regarding the author the copyright the footer the uh, notes at the bottom or what the content is about so it's basically related to some website or blogs uh, that when we browse across so those data are consisted in rdf next is a streaming data streaming data is the data that we uh, stream or we generate throughout the day in fact like from the internet or from the phone call so we have the phone conversation that we uh, make a call or we give a miss call all those things are calculated under phone conversation next is the atm data that is the uh, the atm transactions which you do day by day or uh, which you do on a periodic basis from the uh, banking next is the network traffic that is the traffic which we are capturing from the uh, the twitter streaming or like other streaming that we do uh, by using the apache flume so those network traffic all are considered under the semi structured data next is the web searches the search you do uh, the millions and millions of searches that is done day by day on the google so all those are uh, categorized under the web services or the web searches next is the sensor data the sensor data is the uh, data which is there outside which captures the uh, pressure temperature as well as the other aspects uh, of the environment and it is sent to the cloud directly so uh, these things are uh, basically uh, categorized under the semi structured data next we move on to the structured data which is of the simple format Uh, like in table format we can have the structured data so structured data consists of the erp that is the enterprise resource planning next is the data warehouse that we have the repository where the entire data is being stored next is the sql server for accessing the database next is the oracle database the db2 database the sybase as well as the ms access or the excel sheets or the excel data that you provide on uh, it industries as well for office works next is a netizen it is is another database and sap that is the systems applications and products jde and jda so these all are categorized under the structured data next is the unstructured data so the unstructured data consists of the social media and this unstructured data is uh, comprised of the Uh, major portion contributing to the big data that is about 80 to uh, 85 percent of the data comes from the unstructured data. So unstructured data consists of the social medias from Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, uh, many sites, LinkedIn or Google. In fact, we can say so. All the chatter data, the chats you do on Facebook, on WhatsApp, the text, the blogs, the tweets you do, the comments. the likes the followers the subscriptions the social authority clicks ppcs are the paper clicks right when you click on a youtube video 
or click on a particular site for the link it will generate a pay per click and for that click uh, one uh, data is or the request is sent to the server so that gets logged there and so it will uh, collect all the traffics coming from that particular sources next is the tags then the digital audio video the geospatial data uh, which consists of the satellite images or pictures uh, which are taken uh, on every 24 hours for monitoring purposes so all these are categorized under the structured data next is a multi structured data so multi structured data can be said as the hybrid data means uh, data uh, some portion of the semi structured unstructured multi structured all comes under the uh, multi structured data so every uh, a bit by bit data comes under the multi structured data from all these three so this data consists mainly of the emerging market data means uh, it is a data which is emerging day by day the loyalty that you can see the bid prices 5% 10% discount the deals you can see on the amazon flipkart the e-commerce sites the weather currency conversions that you do the demographic the point of sale pos the ir infrared data the edl that is the enterprise data loader this is uh, there in business intelligence and data mining next is the rfid that is the radio frequency identification the qr that is the quick response the irl irl and rsl are related to the retail solutions which are done on a market uh, base so nfc nfc stands for the near field communication like bluetooth uh, it is used for communication between two of the devices then nielsen nielsen is another uh, kind of multi structured data or in fact there is a website based on nielsen which is an expert in in house retail so you can check on the uh, google uh, there is a site called as nielsen which provides uh, many in house retail uh, aspects next is the ims ims is for the intercontinental market data so along the or the across the continent what all market data has been occurring or you can actually see a dashboard of what the activities or the what all task has been carried throughout the day so ims is basically that and the msa that is the measurement system analysis across the globe how much amount of market data has been emerging throughout the day so uh, these are the types of big data uh, so mainly there are four basically types of big data that is semi-structured, structured, unstructured and multi-structured. So hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Thanks for watching this video.